Hey, what's going on you guys? In this video, we'll be covering an NPM package that allows us to do some pretty cool CSS animations. All right, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to npmjs.com and up in the search bar, we're gonna actually search for animate CSS. This was an NPM package that was written by Daniel Eden. So go ahead and click on the top one. You'll notice that it has about 47,000 downloads and an MIT license, so we're definitely good there. So go ahead and copy the npm command and head over to your terminal and in your project path, go ahead and paste. And this might take a moment the first time that you download it. All right, so once that finishes downloading, go ahead and head back over to npm. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that it gives us a link that we can post into our project. So if we go over to our project, for this, we just have a skeletons HTML page. Go ahead and paste this in, but you gotta make sure that the animate CSS file is pointing to the correct folder. So for us, it's in node modules, and it's in animate.css. And so for this example, we'll go ahead and use an h1 element. Give it a class attribute. And to use animate CSS, each element must have the animated class and then a specific animation. So for this, we'll just go ahead and give bounce. And we'll write bounce in here. Go ahead and save this. Head back over and go ahead and refresh. There you go, it bounces. All right, so heading back over to the code. There's actually ways that we can like modify the time frames of which these animations happen. So one of which is infinite, and that will cause the animation as you'd expect to happen infinitely. So for bounce, this will cause it to bounce indefinitely. It'll just keep on going. All right, so if we go back over, we can also modify this to start at a later time. The default is one second after the page loads. We can actually go delay and we can go, we'll say two seconds. We'll go ahead and save that. And now if we refresh, it'll start out static. And then after two seconds, it'll bounce, right? You can use one second all the way up through five seconds. The default again is one second. You can also cause them to go faster or slower. So we'll go ahead and go slower. So if we save this and refresh, this will cause it to bounce even slower. The animations currently are at set at one second. So slow will be two seconds. Uh, slower will be three seconds, fast is 800 milliseconds, and faster is 500 milliseconds. So to show one of those, we'll go ahead and go faster. Go ahead and save. Come back over here and refresh. As you can see, after two seconds, it starts to bounce pretty quick. That animation happens very fast. All right, so now that we got that working, we'll go ahead and head back over to NPM. And if you scroll down a bit, you'll see that it gives us a bunch of animations, right? Bounce, shake, wobble, etc. There's a bunch. Right. So to show off some of these, we'll go ahead and do some of the animations that happen when the element loads in and some when the element to disappear, to like load out. So I pre-written some of these. So we'll go ahead and comment out our normal bounce. And we'll start off with a bounce in and a bounce out. All right, so we'll go ahead and uncomment bounce in and bounce out. We'll go ahead and save. We'll come on over and we'll refresh. And you'll see that one will bounce on its way out and one will bounce on its way in. So we'll also show off the fade in and fade out. We'll go ahead and save that. Come on over and we'll refresh. And you'll see that one will fade out and one will fade in. Pretty cool, right? All right. And we'll also go ahead and show off the flip in X and flip in out, flip out X. Sorry about that. There's also Y's that will flip over the Y axis, but for this, we'll just show X. So you'll see one will flip out over X and one will flip in over X. Go ahead and comment these guys out. And finally, we'll get to rotate in and rotate out. So we'll go ahead and save and refresh. And you'll see one will rotate out while one rotates in. Again, if you head back over to NPM, you could see there is quite a bit of these, so we won't be able to cover all of them in this video. All right, guys, that'll just about do it for this video. Hope you guys had some fun using some CSS animations. If you guys would like more information, go ahead and go to daneden.github.io slash animate CSS. On there, it actually allows you to test all of the styles that we did in today's video. And as always, guys, thank you so much. I hope you found this video useful. Consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe subscribing. Thanks a lot.